Oh, Penny, Penny, Penny. Oh, what, what, what? This is a complex battle simulation with a steep learning curve. There are myriad weapons, vehicles, and strategies to master, not to mention an extremely intricate backstory. Oh, cool. Whose head did I just blow off? Mine. Yo, Raj, talk to me. <laughs> with you. And what kind of doctor removes shoes from asses? Depending on the depth, that's either a <laughs> proctologist or a general surgeon. Do you remember to ask for the chicken with broccoli to be diced, not shredded? Yes. Well, even though the menu description specifies shredded? Yes. Brown rice, not white? Yes. Did you stop at the Korean grocery and get the good hot mustard? Yes. Did you pick up the low-sodium soy sauce from the market? Yes. Good. <laughs> and see how it's done, Leonard? So, what do we got going on tonight, huh? Playing Halo, watching Battlestar, drop some Mentos and Diet Coke? You want to watch Battlestar? What can I say? I got my geek on, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Are all the machines taken? <laughs> what are you going to do? No problem. I'll just do my laundry another night. Another night? Well, I guess you can try, but... Deep inside your heart, you'll know that laundry night is always Saturday night. Woman, you are playing with forces beyond your ken. Yeah, well, your ken can kiss my Barbie. Who wants the last dumpling? Oh, me. Here's a penny. A moment. We just had Thai food, and in that culture, the last morsel is called the Greng Jai piece, and it is reserved for the most important and valued member of the group. Thank you all for this high honor. Salad with no almonds for the highly allergic kosher only on the high holidays, Howard. And for our suddenly back on the Hindu wagon, Raj, meat lovers, pizza, no meat. Coming right up. Wait, excuse me. You forgot my barbecue bacon cheeseburger, barbecue sauce, bacon, and cheese on the side? Oh, I didn't tell you. You're banished from the Cheesecake Factory. Why? Well, you have three strikes. One coming in, two sitting down, and three, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> You can't do that. Not only is it a violation of California state law, it flies directly in the face of Cheesecake Factory policy. Yeah, no, there's a new policy. No shoes, no shirt, no Sheldon. <laughs> so, so did we do it? Did we just solve string theory? Oh, <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, but this is not the sort of thing we can figure out in a night. People have been stuck on this for decades. What, decades? Really? It's, it's a string. How hard can it be? <laughs> it's, it's straight, it's in a loop, it gets knotted up with other strings. Well, actually, there are no knots in anything greater than four dimensions. Well, unless we get around that by considering them as sheets. You know, topologically speaking, that has a lot of interesting possibilities. See? How long did that take me? Like a minute? <laughs> hey, Penny. Busy. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Shouldn't you be at work? I don't work on Mondays. <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> Listen, Penny. Ugh, Queen Penelope AFK. What? <laughs> Okay, um, here's the thing. Um, sometimes people, good people, you know, they start playing these games and they find themselves through no fault of their own, you know, kind of addicted. Yeah, get to the point. I'm about to level up here. Oh. <laughs> it's just, it's, if a person doesn't have a sense of achievement in their real life, it's easy to lose themselves in a virtual world where they can get a false sense of accomplishment. Yeah, jabber, jabber, jabber. Okay, boys, Queen Penelope's back online. <laughs> Penny, you've got... Cheetos in your hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you stole my comet. I know, but on the other hand, do you really care? Yes, I care. This happens to me all the time. People take one look at me and assume I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. I'm sorry, are you saying I don't know what I'm talking about? 
What is your problem? Do you use up all your thinking at work and then have none left over for when you get home? I don't know. It's, it's hard sometimes. Everywhere you go, guys hit on you, even if I'm standing right there. And they're all taller than me. Why is everyone taller than me? <laughs> what? This is all in my head. It's my problem, not yours. Leonard, why do you always do this? Listen to me, you are the one I'm with. You know I love you. So will you please relax because you're driving me crazy? You know, that's the first time you ever said that you love me. Yeah. Supposed to pretend it's not a big deal? That's exactly what we're gonna do because you're about to make me cry, and we both know if I start crying, you're gonna start crying. You're right, you should go. All right. Come on, I wanna stop at Walgreens and pick up some more eyeliner. They're gonna get beaten up at that club. <laughs> They're gonna get beaten up at Walgreens. I did a topless scene in a low-budget horror movie about a killer gorilla. Oh, after I did it, I felt so ashamed. Thankfully, that thing never came out. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, serial apist. <gasps> Howard found it online the day we met oh, you. Oh, God. Maybe it was literally the moment you walked out the door. Why do you think you're turning into a killer gorilla and not just a regular gorilla? Because regular gorillas are vegetarians, and I just bit the fingers off your receptionist. Okay, we have seen plenty. No, give me the remote. Careful, she'll bite your fingers off. All right. No. No. Oh, that's cute. We should have you check for a concussion. Okay, now you gotta help me put these on. All right. But don't look. But don't look? I don't want you to see me naked. Oh, well that's understandable. You may be interested to know that a prohibition against looking is well established in heroic mythology. The Lot and his wife, Perseus and Medusa, Orpheus and Eurydice. Yeah, great. They always look, it never ends well. Okay, now you gotta help me get my arm into the sleeve. Okay. Is that my arm? It doesn't feel like an arm. And maybe you should let it go. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'd ask you guys if you want dessert, but I know Sheldon doesn't eat dessert on Tuesdays, and even if Raj wanted something, he couldn't tell me. Howard won't order anything, but he will come up with some sort of skeevy comment and bomb me the words pie or cheesecake. And Leonard's lactose intolerant, so he can't eat anything here without his intestines blowing up like a balloon animal. Hey, guys. More Halloween candy? Didn't you just buy a bunch of it yesterday? Oh, yeah, that's gone. It's a rough month when Halloween and PMS hit at the same time. You know those girls text me every detail of their lives as it happens. I'm not signing a prenup. All right, Howard Wallowitz, listen up. You sign anything she puts in front of you because you are the luckiest man alive. If you let her go, there is no way you can find anyone else. Speaking on behalf of all women, it is not going to happen. We had a meeting. Come on, we must know somebody who can do manly stuff like this. What's up? Are you familiar with the Higgs boson? Of course. It is, it's been in the news and it's a very famous boson. Yeah. <laughs> Nice try. Now, in 1964, Dr. Peter Higgs, accomplished self-promoter and physicist, he wrote a paper postulating the existence of a subatomic particle called the Higgs boson. Now, initially, the paper was rejected, but recently, he was proven right. And now he's on the fast track to win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, that's basically what I said. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not in the mood for coffee, I can always make you a chai tea 3 <laughs> Oh, I get it, like C-3PO. 
What happened to me? When Darth Vader struck down Obi-Wan, did Luke cry like a baby and go to his funeral? No, he blew up the Death Star. Why do I know this? Before you go, at least let me pack you some Attack of the Scones for the road. Oh, uh, like Attack of the Clones. We are leaving right now. I don't think any of your comfort zones are showing. Well, it's your third date. Maybe you could go more sexy. Well, some people think the sexiest organ is the brain. No one ever bought me drinks at a bar because my brain just popped out of my shirt. Hi. Hey, how are things on the set? Oh, pretty good, actually. Well, the movie's not as bad as you thought. Oh, no, it is. But I decided instead of complaining about it, I'm just going to go in every day and give it my all. Good for you. Thanks. There's no reason why I shouldn't be the best bisexual go-go dancer slowly transforming into a killer gorilla anyone's ever seen. <laughs> Your mom's never been too thrilled with our relationship. Maybe I should get her something so she warms up to me. If you could run out and get a PhD, that might make her like you. Really? It didn't work for you. <laughs> I, Look, I, I get it. It's still my room. We haven't really made it yours. Thank you. Which is why I got you this pink Power Ranger. <laughs> Put it anywhere you like. OK, but you may feel some discomfort. <laughs> Just a haircut and some clothes. No, it's the last straw. I can't take any more. You believe it? They finally fixed the elevator. <laughs>